Hey, this is Hank from Hank Patty in The Current, and today we're going to talk a little bit about backup. There are a couple of different ways to do backup when other people are playing things in an ensemble or at a jam. On the banjo, well, the most common way is to do what's called boom chucks. Because it has a familiar boom chuck kind of sound. And so you're basically taking the place of the mandolin in that you're the backbeat. And the way to get a good boom chuck is to downstroke with your thumb on the heavy string and then up with your fingers on the bottom two. Down. Now if I do it like this, it rings and that's no good. It just makes a lot of noise. So the trick is to try to mute the strings and the way to do that effectively is to just don't squeeze with your left hand. That doesn't mean take your hands off the fretboard entirely. It just means don't press down all the way. Well, there it is rung and then I'm going to let it ring for a second and let off. So there's a pop. And so if you can keep the regular rhythm going, like you're a metronome, you change chords on the beat. A lot of basic bluegrass songs, traditional bluegrass songs, have the same three chords in different keys. Right now I'm in the key of G, so those chords would be G, C, and D. Um, because it's a fretted stringed instrument, guitars and mandolins are the same way, the chords can repeat without much in the way of position change. Theoretically, you could play all three chords in the same position. However, the jump from here, this G, to this C is a lot. It's a big jump. So we'll play this G, the one that's next to it. G, C, and D. According to the Nashville number system, you assign a number to each chord. So if G is number one, the root, then C is number four, G, A, B, C, and then D is five. So you have one, four, and five. Now, no matter where you start, if you're in this position, the four and five chord will always be in the same place respective to the one chord. So let's say at random, this is where we're starting, B flat, you want four, up a half step and switch your index and middle finger. Five. One, four, and five, always in the same place. We'll go back here. F sharp, starting chord. There's one, there's four, there's five. Always in the same place. And we'll go back to G. Now, when you're backing up someone, no matter what key you're in, Obviously you want to make sure that you stay in time and that you're playing the correct chords in the song. But you also want to make sure that you're keeping the music moving along. You are working in conjunction with the bass player to make sure that everyone holds together. Playing back up, doing boom chucks may not be the most exciting thing to play at any given moment when you're playing the song, so it would seem but you're absolutely crucial in keeping everything together with the bassist in that ensemble. Not to mention the fact that once you get a hold of it and you get used to playing chords, chords can be a lot of fun and there's a lot you can do with chords in backup. A little bit of flair, a little bit of extra, you could do... Just a few little extra things. So in that, start out with a normal boom chuck, add a little before you slide up. Slide in. Things like that can be very helpful.